They might have the best only loss in the season, at least the regular season, by losing by one point to Georgia. But let me give you some of the other teams that would be in the college football playoff conversation. If Alabama runs the table, they are 13-0. and Penn State could end up being 13-0. and If those two teams are undefeated, those two teams are going to the college football playoffs. Then that means there's two slots left. Let's even say that Penn State loses a game like this upcoming weekend against Ohio State. That would mean that potentially the Big Ten champion, because Wisconsin could run the table, would be 12-1. and one. They're going to put Ohio State or Penn State at 12-1 and one over Notre Dame at 11-1. and one. Clemson could be 12-1 and one and champions of the ACC. Georgia might run the table up until the SEC title game and then lose to Alabama which would make them 12-1 and and would have beaten Notre Dame. What happens if Alabama runs the table until the SEC title game, but Georgia's only loss is on the road at Auburn, but ends up knocking off Bama in the SEC title game, and thus we have Alabama at 12-1 and and Georgia at 12-1, and and Georgia has won the SEC. My guess is Georgia gets the bid. Maybe Alabama gets the bid as well, but you're not going to put Notre Dame in over a 12-1 Georgia team that beat Notre Dame. In the Pac-12, what happens if Washington is 12-1? Now, maybe you would say the schedule is better for Notre Dame. The resume is better than Washington's 12-1, despite only being 11-1. But Washington would have a championship game win, which is a 13th data point. The Big 12 now has a championship game. You could have a 12 and 1 TCU champ. You could have a 12 and 1 Oklahoma champ or Oklahoma State, the winner of Bedlam, and then going into the Big 12 title game knocking off TCU. A 12 and 1 winner of the Big 12 that just got a win over TCU who would be a top 5 team at that point in time. All of these teams are potentially going to get jumped ahead of Notre Dame. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. Again, here's just a quick breakdown of the four potential slots, the four slots, and here's the potential suitors. Bama, Penn State, Georgia, Clemson, Washington, TCU, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Ohio State, Penn State, and put Miami in there. Because Miami could run the table, Now, that would mean they would knock off Notre Dame. But what happens if Notre Dame beats Miami, but Miami wins the ACC with one loss, and they're a 12-1 ACC champion? What I'm telling you is there is four slots and 12 teams, including Notre Dame. So 13 teams that are vying. And this is what makes this great, is that the college football playoff didn't ruin the regular season. It didn't devalue the regular season. We have a tremendous race right now. We have a tremendous sprint, but there's only four slots. So don't tell me that Notre Dame going 11-1 is guaranteed to make the playoff when you will have at least two or three other one-loss teams more than likely. And therein lies the Notre Dame problem is that the college football playoff committee probably would like Notre Dame because there is a sexiness to having Notre Dame. There's a cachet to having Notre Dame in it. There's an inherent ratings boost. But Notre Dame's not going to play a conference championship game. And from what we've been told, the committee likes a 13th data point. That's why the Big 12's going to that. So, what happens if the Big 12 finally goes to a championship game and has a one-loss champ and Notre Dame hops them, then why did the Big 12 go to a championship game? I just think it's so premature to just simply say, well, if Notre Dame wins out, they're definitely in the playoff. I don't believe that. I don't think that's true at all. 